Hi, I'm Ryan Linfield for Stormwind Live, and I'm here today to talk to you about port types and port personalities on the Cisco UCS Fabric Interconnect, and we're gonna take a look at the 6100s and the 6200s today. Uh, one of the differences, as you may already know, the 6100, for instance, the 6120, is gonna be fixed with 20 ports, 20 fixed ports, and they will have possibly additional ports off to the side there that are gonna be for fiber channel if we were to install a generic expansion module. When we take a look at the 6200, those are what they call unified ports. So the ports that you're looking at, perhaps we've got a 6248, we've got 48 ports across. What we have to do is tell the Fabric Interconnect what those ports are gonna be used for. So these are gonna be configured as either ethernet ports or fiber channel ports uh, based on going into the UCS manager, selecting a little slider, moving it from left to right. We're gonna have to group those ports in pairs of two. Uh, you'll have fiber channel coming from right to left as we move a slider across ethernet from left to right. So when we get these set up uh, is either ethernet or fiber channel, we can then define a port personality. So let's take a look at port personalities for ethernet ports uh, by taking a closer look at our slide here. So looking at the slide, we've got the following types of roles or port personalities that we can set on our ethernet ports. Uh, at the highest level, we've got the fabric interconnect here and he's gonna have either an uplink going out to the rest of the world. This could be like a Cisco 6500, uh, it could be a Nexus 7000, heck, this could be a pair of Nexus 7000s configured in VPC so that we could create a port channel here. Uh, the role of an uplink port is to connect the UCS to the rest of the network. Uh, the opposite of the uplink would be the downlink. And what we sometimes call the downlink is a server port. This connects, you guessed it, to our servers down here below. We know that the 5108 is the enclosure that all of our blade servers are gonna live within. And the server ports on the fabric interconnector are what's gonna provide connectivity into those. So that would be about as black and white as connectivity goes for our fabric interconnect. I think the moral of the story is to really kind of look at this and say, okay, when Cisco ships you this fabric interconnect, if it were a 6248. He's got 48 ports, but we have no idea what these are for. Uh, they could be uplinks, they could be downlinks, or they could be one of these other types. An appliance, which might come over here and connect to like a 1010, which would be a Nexus 1000V. It could be FCOE, so we're connecting off to maybe an EMC VNX, or it could be for a monitoring port, so we could actually give you know, 10 gigabits per second worth of a span session off to some external monitoring device. So these roles have to be designated. The Fabric Interconnect has no idea what he's gonna be connecting to or the way that he should behave.